In this channel, I published multiple videos earlier covering different generative AI tool released by Google. Today, I'll show you one such tool that is Notebook LM and that's also from Google. This is an incredible tool and you can use it for multiple different purposes. Let me show you what am I talking about and how to use this tool. So currently you can see I'm in Google homepage and here if I just type Notebook LM and you'll be able to see this particular link notebooklm.google.com so once i do that then you will be able to see this kind of interface it is showing all the different type of notebooks i earlier created but let me show you from very beginning so if you click on create new then it will create a new notebook for you now what this google notebook is all about think about you are working on a specific topic there are maybe multiple documents presentations youtube video different url links all those source materials you have and based on those material you want to learn certain things and you want to create some content out of it let me show you what am i talking about and i'll show you using certain ways so that you can understand it better so currently you can see notebook lm is asking me to add different sources so what are the document sources and other things here you can see from your Google Drive, you can upload docs or slides. You can also add website link or YouTube video links. If you want to paste text, that also you can do. And you can also upload files of different formats like PDF, text, markdown, audio, images, everything it accepts. And it accepts up to 50 different sources. Now, these 50 different sources are using the free tier and free tier, the capabilities they gave, you don't need a paid tier, but if it's paid one, then you will be getting much more benefits. If I just quickly show you, you will be able to upload up to 300 sources. So this is the one I wrote in Google itself, Notebook, LM Free and Pro Plan Comparison. And I got this particular output. You can see that what are the limitations that they are using the free tier. So as much as I used it, free tier is more than enough. So if I come back, let me add certain sources. So what I'll do, I'll go to my downloads folder. There I already downloaded few of the documents. So what I want to do, I will work on generative AI and its future along with pros and cons. That's my requirement. And I already searched in a way when I found certain documents. This is one document from HBR, another one from Orange, third one is from Open Text, and these are the three PDFs I already downloaded. So what I'll do, I'll just drag it here. So now you can see these three documents are getting uploaded. And it is now trying to parse those documents and it's already suggesting me some of the heading. So what I'll do, I'll just rename it here. So this is the name, you'll be able to change it here. So I'll select all and I'll type future of generative AI pros and cons. So once I do that, then you can see this is also changed here. Now I uploaded three PDF files. Now I have certain links also. So these are the few links I earlier Copy it. This is from McKenzie. What I'll do, I'll click on add again. And here you will be able to now add website link. You can see now source, it uploaded three out of 50. Now let me click on website. I'll paste this particular link. I'll click on insert. I'll come to my text file again. And then there is another link from Cognizant and I'll add that website link also here. That is also added. Now I have few of the YouTube video links. Let me go back and then I'll add YouTube and I'll add that link. Similar way, I'll copy other two links. Again, I'll click on YouTube, I'll add that link. Now I added all links. This is the last one. I'll click on YouTube and then I'll paste this link. Now insert. Now you can see it's parsing all those documents. Now we have added all our sources. So few of the PDF files, few of the website links, and I added some of the YouTube video links also. So everything has been added. Now Notebook LM can do multiple different things. If you come here and click on timeline, then it will generate the timeline based on all documents. Like whenever we are talking about future of generative AI, from the time AI came in market, then how it became generative AI, all those timelines it's creating you can see generating based on eight sources now if i click on it you can see pre 1940s on that time what it was then 40s 60s in that way it created one timeline for us so this will be really useful and what you can do 
you can change this particular document also to another source you can click on convert to source then this particular timeline also will become another source of this entire collection now let me come back and show you a few more things think about you are a student and you have certain pdf files some youtube links certain other web page link where you are trying to understand one particular topic or a particular subject there after adding everything you can click on study guide what it will do it will generate a study guide for you based on all those contents whatever you give to notebook LM. it's generating based on nine different sources earlier it was eight then we added this timeline now it became nine so now it's generating now it's ready if i click on it you can see using the quiz quiz answers it will help you to understand that particular concept this is the amount of text it generated and think about if you had to do it manually reading all those pdf files links watching all those youtube videos some of the youtube videos are more than two hours long also so all those things it parsed everything and it created this particular file for you very quickly another thing let me show you if you have certain things and certain documents and if you want to create an executive summary for any of your presentation you can click on this briefing doc and it will generate that briefing text for you which can be utilized if you want to present it very briefly then you can generate this document you can see if i just click on it it generated and summarized everything with a structure you can see executive summary key themes and important ideas what are the other points we are talking about all the structures are there and at the last it shown some of the conclusions also so this is the way you will be able to generate now while we are talking about this particular feature one small announcement my chat gpt course is now available on skillshare I have added one link in the description below. You can check out that link. As of date, there are a couple of courses are available on Skillshare, which I published there. Along with my courses, during the trial period, you will also be able to watch multiple different courses published by renowned instructors of different topics. If you get the value out of that platform, you can continue your subscription. Also, if you don't want to continue, you can cancel during your trial period. So check out that link for more details. Now, let me come back to notebook LM. let's talk about another example if you have a product documentation and you want to create some of the faq related to that product or any of the services you will be able to use this option to create an faq if i click on it then you can see it's creating that faq normally whenever in the customer support and other things in your website you need to add those faqs right so if you have certain product and if you have a documentation, if you upload here and then you can take it out. If I click on it, then this is the FAQ. Multiple questions and answers, everything are mentioned here. Now, let me show you the most important thing. After doing all these things, you can create another thing. That's mind map. If I click on it, it can generate a very detailed mind map for you based on all these inputs it's generating the mind map it will take a little bit of time and then after that once it will be generated you'll be able to understand the quality of it if i click on it this is the mind map if i click on this particular arrow it will expand further if i click on this arrow it will also expand further you will be able to expand everything and once this is ready you will also be able to download it as an image file so this is the way you will be able to create a mind map out of all of your sources so that you can understand a topic in a far far better way now one thing let me show you that is that audio overview if i click on it it will generate an audio overview based on all these documents and once this is done you will be able to listen to it now notebook lm also have a mobile app once your audio is generated using that mobile app on the go you will be able to listen to those details so in case you need to consume all this data and you don't have time to read through all those documents using this particular method you will be able to produce an audio file and you will be able to listen to it on the go now currently it's creating that audio file but let me show you another thing we already added our sources right but what if you need some more details if you click on discover there you will be able to find out few more contents related to this topic so what i'll do i'll click on escape i'll just copy our heading text then i'll go to discover i'll paste this thing and then i'll submit it will search for those documentations from the web and it will also show you the list what are the things you can bring in you can see generative ai in the social impact 
the role of business, economic potential of generative AI, McKinsey, another link it's showing. So all these things are there. So if I click on import, now this 10 different source also will get added, all those links and everything. So if you want to research on any specific topic, this is the tool to use. It can make your work far, far more easier than the way we are doing as of date. Now you can see the audio overview is ready. Let me click on play and understand how it sounds. Okay, let's dive right in. We're talking about something that, well, it feels like it just appeared, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Like uh, seemingly overnight, generative AI went from this, you know, techie concept to being absolutely everywhere. Yeah, it's been quite the explosion into the public eye. Right, and it sparked this this real mix of awe, but also, honestly, a bit of concern, maybe? Definitely unease. You see companies scrambling, trying to figure out how to deploy it. And So you can see, it produced a podcast out of all these documents, which is fascinating. And listen to this quality. This is next level, this is studio quality sound, everything. So this is the way you'll be able to use Notebook LM if you have any such requirement because this is a very, very powerful tool and the way it is producing everything, this is next level. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if it can help you in any of your workflow. So hopefully you understood how this particular tool works. If you still have any question, feel free to ask in the comments below. Also, you can talk to me directly. That option is available now using fan call application. I have added another link in the description below. Check out that particular link. You can block my calendar and you can talk to me directly if you have any question, if you have any thought or you just want to say hi. So that also is possible now. Along with Notebook LM, Google also brought multiple different features which are now available inside Google AI Studio, which are not even available in the production whenever you are using Gemini paid plan. I already published multiple videos covering some of those topics. Check out this playlist if you want to know more about it.